Okay, the next thing I wish to talk about is how transduction takes place in the cochlea. So now we're talking about hearing, the process of hearing, and we're going to talk about how this trans sensory transduction takes place in the cochlea. So the motion of the traveling sound wave initiates sensory transduction, and it does so by displacing hair cells that sit on top of the basilar membrane. Okay, and I have a little diagram for this one, so I'm just going to bring that in real quick because I just want to kind of point out what's going on here. Okay, so here's the basilar membrane. It's this piece right here, basically. This is your basilar membrane, okay? There's a little thing pointing to it, but this is kind of your basilar membrane right here. And what I said before was it works by displacing hair cells, okay? And there's these hair cells right here, okay? There's one here. Um, there's, there's more up here, okay? And that's kind of what I just want to kind of show you guys, like, what's going on here, kind of visual picture of the uh, process. So the traveling sound wave initiates the sensory transduction by displacing hair cells that sit atop the basilar membrane. And the vertical component of the wave causes a shearing motion between the basilar membrane and the overlapping tectoral membrane. Okay, so what does that mean? Essentially what I mean here is that this and this, which is the tectoral membrane, it's labeled tectoral membrane, it's actually going to cause kind of a shearing motion. It's going to be kind of a motion going on between these two. And that's going to actually displace these hair cells, okay? So it's not really hard to understand. There's going to be some shearing motion here. It's going to displace these hair cells. And that's going to then, you know, continue the process going. So what does that shearing motion do? So it causes a shearing motion. And this motion causes the cilia on the hair cells to bend, okay? So that's exactly what I was kind of trying to show you in that picture, was that those hair cells, are the cilia, um, are going to bend. And when the cilia bend, mechanically gated so, um, potassium ion channels are opened, and the potassium ions enter the cell, causing the hair cell to depolarize. So what you have here is these mechanically gated channels. Okay, and what I mean by mechanically gated channels is that they're open in response to the bending of the hair cells. Okay, so they're open in response to this mechanical shearing between the basilar membrane and the tectoral membrane. Okay, so this shearing motion causes a mechanically it causes the mechanical mechanically gated potassium ion channels to open. Okay, and then the potassium ions are just going to rush in. Okay, and when potassium ions rush in, the cell is depolarized. So the change in membrane potential, okay, because we're going to have a change in membrane potential, we're depolarizing here, um, causes the voltage-gated calcium ion channels to open, okay? So these voltage-gated calcium ion channels then open. So it's kind of like a secondary response. You get this first response, this mechanical response, um, by the actual sound wave, causes this mechanical response that, you know, then leads to sort of a chemical response, a gradient response. This channel depolarizes, you know, you wind up with um, these depolarized cells, and they, in turn, then initiate this um, voltage-gated calcium ion channels to open. And the calcium ions then enter, and what, of course, what they do, because they're positively charged as well, they further depolarize the cell. And this further depolarization actually causes the release of neurotransmitter from the synaptic vesicles. So, one more time, I'll just go back and briefly show my little picture. Of um, of this process and of this of these cells. So tectoral membrane is here. It's this big membrane here. And again, we have the shearing motion, this motion between this basilar membrane here, and we have these outer hair cells and inner hair cells. Okay. And um, essentially, what that's going to do is it's going to create some of these, you know, um, opening of these channels. And then the opening of the one set of channels is mechanical. The opening of the calcium channels is voltage gated. Okay, so that's voltage based. A certain voltage must be achieved due to the depolarization and the flow of the potassium ions, and that results in the release of neurotransmitters and the and the response.